students we had started a new chapter that is simple interest and in the last video we have done some applications where we have studied about how can we find the simple interest as well as amount from the given statement so today's video is going to be about how can we find the principal time and rate so let's get started so here we have first example so let's read the statement at what rate percent per annum will rupees 5000 yield an interest of rupees 500 in 2 years so here you will see whatever is given to us in the statement at what rate percent at what rate percent that mean we need to find rate right so we will underline rate per annum will rupees 5000 yield an interest of rupees 500 so 5000 rupees yield an interest so that mean this 5000 will be the principal and an interest of rupees 500 that mean this is the interest given to us in 2 years 2 years means time right so whatever is given to us in the statement we will quickly write over here so principal is equals to 5000 si is equals to 500 and time is equals to 2 years now here we will apply the formula for si right so si is equals to p into r into t upon 100 so si is already given to us so we will put the value of si over here is equals to principal is also given to us that is 5000 multiply by rate rate we need to find so we will write here rate that is r capital r multiply by time time is already given to us that is 2 2 years upon 100 now what we will do here we will do the cutting here so 0 0 can be cut right so what we are left with here 500 is equals to 50 into r into 2 because we here we need to find r so we will shift 50 multiply by 2 to this side that mean left hand side and they are getting multiplied here when you will shift it to the left hand side it will get divide right so here we will get 500 upon 50 multiplied by 2 now when you will do the cutting here 0 0 can be cut right on 5 table 5 ones are 5 5 10s are 50 and on 2 table 2 ones are 2 2 fives are 10 so here r is equals to 5 percent per annum that is what we need to find in this statement right so here we have found the rate is equals to 5 percent per annum So now let's move to another example. Now here we have next example. So let's read the statement first. What sum will yield rupees eleven hundred and twenty-five as simple interest in two years at nine percent per annum? So we will read it again. What sum? Sum means what? Principal. What sum? Because what is there? That means we have to find. sum sum means principal so it will yield rupees 1125 rupees as simple interest so that means this is simple interest given to us in 2 years 2 years means time is also given to us at 9% per annum so rate is also given to us right now what we will do here Now here we have written whatever was given to us in the statement that is S is equals to rupees eleven hundred and twenty five rate is equals to nine percent per annum and time is equals to two years. Now we have to find principal. So S I is already given to us that means we have to apply the formula for S I. So formula of S I is equals to P into R into T upon hundred. So put the values of S I over here. Multi is equals to P. because we need to find principal so you will write here p multiply by r that means value of r is equals to 9% per annum you will write here 9 multiply by time that is 2 years upon 100 now again what you will do here we will, we are not doing the cutting over here because we need to find p here so simply what we will do we will shift 100 to this this side and it is getting divided here so if you will shift to this left side so it will get multiply with 1125 and also we will shift 9 multiply by 2 and they will go to left side and will get divide now you can see that after shifting we can do the cutting so 
so after doing the cutting in this way you will get the answer like 125 multiplied by 50 which is equals to rupees 6250 rupees so here we have found principal is equal to rupees 6250 rupees right so in this way we have to find principal by applying the formula for si that is equal to p into r into t upon 100 so now let's move to the another example now here we have a third example so let's read the statement in what time will rupees 5000 amount to rupees 6450 rupees if simple interest is reckoned at 12 percent per annum so now in what time that mean what we have to find time in what time they are asking us question about time so that means we have to find time will rupees 5000 amount to rupees 6450 rupees right so that means this will be the principal 5000 will be the principal and amount to rupees this so that means 6450 is amount given to us if simple interest is reckoned at 12 percent per annum also rate is also given to us right so we will write here principal is equals to 5000 amount is equals to rupees 6450 rupees and rate is equals to 12 percent per annum now what is the next step we have to find time right so now, first of all, we will use whatever is given to us. Amount is already given to us. This time, SI is not given. So, amount is given to us. So, we will apply the formula for amount, which is equals to P plus SI. So, amount, the value of amount is equals to rupees 6450 is equals to value of principal is rupees 5000 plus SI. From here, you can find the value of SI. By subtracting them, you will get rupees 1450 is equals to SI. So, this is the value of SI. Now, we can apply the formula of SI here because here we have already the value of SI that we have just found. So, SI is equals to P into R into T upon 100. So, put the value of SI here. Principal also that is 5000 multiplied by rate which is equals to 12% per annum. And time we need to find, so we will write here T upon 100, right? So now we can cut these two zeros. So 50 and 12 will be shifted to the left hand side and it will get divide. Now we can uh, cut these two zeros and on 5 table 145 comes on 29. So what will happen? Now 29 and 12 cannot be cut on one common table. So we have 29 upon 12 as time. Or we can write it as time is equal to 29 upon 12 years. All right. Now, how can we convert this into mixed fraction? So here like this, uh, when you will divide 29 by 12, so you will get the answer like this. Time is equal to 2 whole number 5 upon 12 years. All right. So students, by doing all these examples, you have learned that how can we find the principal rate as well as time right by applying this simple formula that is simple address is equal to p into r into t upon 100 now i hope all of you have understood all these examples completely now all of you are able to do the related homework that we have already sent you in your snap homework thank you